Hey, it's Peter Greg, Miami, Florida. Welcome to Peter's Kitchen. Uh, I bought some eggs, which is a dozen eggs, and I've told you guys that I use raw eggs in different types of food because I eat low sugar. They call that low carb or keto uh, or carnivore. And I need to have some desserts, puddings or ice cream. Uh, so I use raw eggs and I'm not, I don't feel comfortable with using raw eggs. I even make my own mayonnaise using avocado oil and uh, raw eggs. So uh, I learned many years ago when I had my mom and my dad before they left to go to heaven, um, where I was very concerned with giving them just regular eggs. So I learned to buy an egg called Davidson's Eggs at our grocery store, which down here in Miami is called Publix. And uh, from our area, it comes and it goes. It's, it's not like always there. So I learned many years ago to use sous vide, which is a type of cooking, uh, to pasteurize my own eggs. Now, pasture raised is not the same thing as pasteurized, okay? So pasture raised means that they're, they're raised in a pasture. They're able to go out and eat uh, bugs and worms and just everything that chickens are supposed to eat. So uh, that's called pasture raised. And that's a good thing, okay? And then you have uh, on top of that something called organic, which means there's no hormones, there's uh, none of the fake feed and stuff like that. And then you've got a third thing with eggs. Who knew? Geez, I didn't know eggs were so complicated. And that's just basic human uh, care for the chickens. Most of the time chickens are kept in like a little box for their entire life. They don't even see the light of day. They're kept indoors in a very confined, there's no exercise. They just lay eggs and the eggs are harvested and that is not humane. So I try to select humane raised and the ones that I picked are humane raised. They're organic and they are cage free. So the chickens can be chickens. Okay, that's what I want. I want the chickens to be chickens. So now the problem comes with salmonella. I'm gonna make ice cream later today and I'm gonna use the raw egg yolks. Calls for I think five or six egg yolks. So I know, I've heard the argument where the, the actual salmonella is on the shell and not inside. But when I was dealing with my mother and my dad's life, and now just not wanting to get sick, okay? Why risk it? I'm going to pasteurize my own eggs. So I've taken all these eggs from this carton and I've already put them right in here. Here, let me show it to you. This is the eggs in here. I've used a few eggs already, but I would normally put the whole dozen. I use cold water and I make sure it covers the eggs by an inch or two. So the reason I use cold water rather than warm water is because I want uh, the eggs to come to room temperature. So if I put them in cold water and then I turn the machine on, that little bit of time it takes to warm it up lets the eggs uh, come to room temperature so that they don't crack. Okay, remember, they're going to go in raw. They're coming out raw. Okay, <laughs> they're just pasteurized. So I put them in. Now, it's time and heat that is going to kill the salmonella, okay? So if you look it up, you're gonna see that there's quite a few different formulas. Some of them are short, some of them are longer. I have, I kinda of like overshoot things, I overdo things. So this is not something that's gonna be short. So two hours versus four hours, I don't really care. I'm gonna put in a whole dozen and I'm going to pasteurize it. So it's time and heat will create that pasteurization. Then I can use the raw eggs to make my ice cream, make mayonnaise, make pudding, um, and do all kinds of weird things with the raw egg, okay? I can even put a raw egg into my smoothie in the morning because I will have pasteurized it and it will be an organic egg, cage-free. So everything is tilted in my direction. So what's the secret numbers? The secret numbers is first you're gonna use a sous vide machine. So this is the Instant Pot Pro. So the Instant Pot Pro includes sous vide. So if I push the sous vide button, it comes to life, okay? And I want it to be on sous vide. 
and I want it to go for four hours. So it's set to 24 hours. I'm going to push the button. Each one of you guys uh, have a different machine. So you're going to have to learn how to change your time. So see how I have the time here? I'm going to lower it down as quick as possible to four hours. Okay, so that's four hours and 30 minutes, okay? So there's my four hours, all right? And then I want the temperature to be at 129 degrees. So there's different formulas, like I said, all right? And then I'm going to push start. So it's four hours for 129 degrees and start. All right, so these are going to start now to warm up. They'll sit there for four hours and in about four hours I'm going to come out. I'm going to put them either in the carton or in a Tupperware. So I was washing the cartons out uh, with Clorox, spraying it a little bit, and then I decided, ah, the heck with it. Uh, I just bought myself a Tupperware that holds like 15 eggs. Then I know the ones that are in the Tupperware are pasteurized and the ones that are in a carton are not. Okay, so that's how I can tell the difference in my own kitchen. So that pretty much concludes this video. We're not going to sit here for four hours. So this is going to run on sous vide. Now, if you have a sous vide machine, you'll take your sous vide machine You'll set it for 129, 130. You really basically want 130 and less, but not by much. One degree is a big deal, okay? So usually they want you to do that for three hours or two hours. I'm going to take it over the top. I'm going to put it in at 129 for four hours so I can be sure that I can just use that raw egg. It's pasteurized. The salmonella is gone. The E. coli is gone and whatever else that those bacteria are, they will be killed because it's time and temperature. That's what sous vide does. Sous vide is S-O-U-S-V space V-I-D-E. It's a style of cooking. It might be in your instant pot or you could have one of those sous vide sticks that goes in a pot of water. So that's how I pasteurize my eggs and after that's done, putting them in the fridge and then tonight, I'm going to make ice cream, low sugar keto ice cream with five or six raw egg yolks. And I don't have to take it to the stove and heat it up for X amount of minutes. And be careful you don't boil it because you'll cook your eggs. Just put it in there. I put it in the machine and I get amazing ice cream. All right, Peter Gregg, Peter's Kitchen, please subscribe. And if you like the work that I do, I have a new Patreon account. $3, I think it costs to give me like a tip in the tip jar. That'll be the link in the description. Oh, I'll put the uh, link to the instant pot that I'm using in case you want to buy one that's got sous vide built into it so you don't have to run a lot of different machines because this will pressurize, it'll saute, and it'll slow cook like a slow cooker, and it will do sous vide. So all is done in one. Bing, bam, bam all done. <laughs> Peter Gregg, I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Wish. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching.